And notice the descriptors that the angels give. There's three descriptors in verse 11. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born, and he is the Messiah. He is the Lord. Now, interestingly, maybe even ironically, two of those three titles are also given to Caesar. Caesar, at that time in the world's history, was said to be Savior and Lord for all the people. He was also called to be the Son of God. If you look in the ancient history books, Caesar was said to be divine, that he was a Son of God, that he was Savior and Lord for everybody. So Luke is borrowing, he's he's hijacking those titles from Caesar. He's giving them to Jesus, and he's saying, look out, Caesar, there is a new king in town. So Jesus comes in as a new ruler, a new king, and he brings with him a new kingdom as well. Because this is what we read in verse 13. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Not only is Jesus a new king, but he's bringing with him a new kingdom. And again, what the angel is doing with these words is he's contrasting Jesus and his kingdom to Caesar and his empire, and he's doing it specifically with the notion of peace on earth, which in part, this moment connects back to a prophecy said of Jesus back in Isaiah. Isaiah 9, verse 6 and 7, we read, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. See, not only was Caesar said to be Savior and Lord of the entire world, it was also said and thought that Caesar was bringing peace to the entire world. The the mantra of the Roman Empire was that Caesar was the Son of God. He was the Savior and Lord bringing peace to the entire world. It was a message they called the euangelion, which is a Greek term for gospel, good news. The good news of the kingdom was that Caesar was Lord, Son of God, and bringing peace to everyone. And Luke, in this moment, is grabbing, he's hijacking, he's taking all of those references, titles, and descriptors, and he's saying, no, 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 it's not true of Caesar, it's true of Jesus, He is the true king, true Lord, who is bringing a kingdom that will be marked by peace for all, forever. 